What's up clubbers? In today's video, what we are going to do is basically connect to wallet using wallet connect, which is a technology which you can use via QR codes or for smart contract wallets such as Genosis and other multisig wallets. Essentially, this wallet connect allows us to have a separate software for our wallet and not necessarily rely on MetaMask, which is a browser extension. So this way what we can do is basically have our phone, a wallet in our phone and just use that wallet to connect to any site that is available that supports wallet connect. It's a fairly standard way to connect to wallets and you might have seen a lot of other websites where this is done. So yeah, today we're going to learn how to do that and we'll connect to both Ethereum and Matic chain. But before we get started, please make sure to like this video, comment on this video if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon. And if you have deeper questions, if you want to talk to the general community, join my Discord. The link is in the description. All right, with that said, let's get started. So off camera, what I've done is written the code for this. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is basically have a Web3 provider Wallet Connect library imported via CDN. If you're using React, the Wallet Connect itself has a great documentation which you can go through. But I'm just going to keep things simple today and we're just going to use pure vanilla JavaScript. Now the documentation that I used was present over here, which you can see uh, also expects us to use an NPM or something like that. But I just use CDN version of things and it can work on Infura or custom RPC. If you don't know what that means, Infura is basically a service which provides us with an Ethereum node so that our wallets or our dApps or our server side wallets can simply send a transaction to the Ethereum mempool so that it can be picked up and executed. We put RPC, JSON RPC URLs in our wallets. I don't know if you remember when we added the Matic mainnet, we had added a JSON RPC. You can check out that JSON RPC by going to settings and in the networks, you will find Matic mainnet if you have added and then you'll see the RPC URL. So this is something which is very similar to the RPC URL that we are seeing over here. We will have to use one of the RPC URLs or the Infura key for which I'm not signing up today. But yeah, these are the couple of ways that we can basically use an Ethereum node or Matic node or whatever and connect through Wallet Connect. Wallet Connect also supports both Ethers.js and Web3.js. So as you know, I use Web3.js a lot. This is what I'll be basing my today's code on. And the rest of the things you can go through pretty quickly there's nothing very difficult about it uh, once you know you connect to web3 rest of the code for metamask and this remains the same now in metamask what we do is we have we usually check for window.ethereum and then uh, we use window.ethereum as the provider but for wallet connect what we are going to do is we have wallet connect provider dot default and there we specify rpcs one for chain ID 1 which is Ethereum and 137 for chain ID 137 which is Matic. So I'm using the Cloudflare ETH node, uh, it is free to use. If you want to see more nodes, uh, you can just open this URL and it has a list of few nodes that are available. For Polygon, I'm using the official polygon-rpc.com as the node. This bridge uh, by default is bridge.walletconnect.org. This is something that you need, don't need to understand, you can even comment this out. After that, I have a method called connect WC, which means connect wallet connect. And there I enable the provider. So basically connect to that provider. Once connected, I use that provider and give it to web3 and web3 gives me back a web3 object, which I put to window.w3. And because I've attached w3 to the window object, so I, now I can use w3 everywhere else. So if this was MetaMask, the provider will be would have been window.ethereum and we, nothing else would have changed so as you can see the code is not a lot different and now i'll show you a small demo of this so i've started the server and i go here and write localhost port 8000 in my firefox now you can see there's a connect wallet connect button over there which when i click which when i click calls the connect wc method all right then so i press on connect wallet connect and uh, as you can see there is something which has come up now this is a wallet 
connect QR code that I can copy and just connect to this session. We can also copy this value and put it into our desktop wallets if there are or smart contract wallets like multisig wallets. Genosis is a common multisig wallet which people use which supports wallet connect. So we can copy this wallet connect URL and just paste it in our desktop wallet. But today we're going to use our phone. So I have two wallets on my phone, both using the normal wallet that I use for this for these videos. So this is my wallet. I go to the top right option and I click there, I press there, which looks like a camera. I press it and a camera pops up. All right. So now the next thing that I will do is simply scan the code. And after scanning the code, um, the sheet comes up which tells me that this site wants to connect, which is very similar to how MetaMask works on the desktop. By the way, this is the MetaMask wallet on the mobile on iPhone. So now I press connect and as I press connect, it connects and suddenly the QR code is gone. So I have written a bunch of methods over here and that I'm going to be using. Uh, for stuff. So let me open the console and the next thing that I'm going to do is call the sign method with a message Sign this message If you check out the sign code, it's the same sign code that we've used earlier w3 which is a web3 object dot eth dot personal dot sign requires the message and the account Now I await this sign so that I can check what value comes back now I press enter and as you can see a sign pop-up comes up. I press on sign and on the screen I can see the signature that has come back. Great, so this thing works. Now how can I send a transaction? So it's simple w3.eth.send transaction and here I just have from account which is the account that we have and let's say we are sending a transaction to ourselves. Sending some ether to ourselves and the value of that ether will be let's say whatever one and many zeros right and i await this so when i press enter you can see a pop-up comes up on metamask which is basically saying uh, that i'm trying to send this ether from here to there but i don't have enough ether to for this transition so to go through so it is showing that uh, it will not work out so i'm just going to reject it for now and once i reject you can see uh, the error has sort of come. So nothing changes except the way you connect. Once connected, everything works just like a normal MetaMask browser extension does. Now I have another wallet on my phone called Rainbow Wallet, which is a pretty common wallet now. So Rainbow Wallet already connects with Polygon. So I'm going to use a Rainbow Wallet to connect uh, here using Polygon. So before that, what I need to do is call provider.disconnect and await this thing as well. And once disconnected, done, we're done. It's disconnected. Now I refresh the page, click here again, and you can see the QR code has come back. Now I take the rainbow wallet, I press on the top right QR code section and I scan the code. Asks me to connect to this uh, with a network at the bottom right you'll see there's a network written i tap on the network and change it to polygon and now i press connect now it connected and why did, why did it connect because we already have mentioned the polygon chain id and the corresponding json rpc url great now in my in one of my previous videos what i had done was created a counter smart contract and deployed it to Mat to matic chain to polygon chain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that smart contract and the ABI and try to increment a value over there. I've created a contract. I have created a function called contract, which takes ABI and address and returns a contract object, a W3 Web3 contract object. So I'm going to call contract. I'm going to press uh, pass the ABI and address, which I have already defined over here and I'm going to catch this contract in the variable C. Oops, I should await it. And now in C, I have this contract. Great. So now the next thing, let's say first, I want to figure out what is the current count in this contract. So I'm just 
normally going to call this and await this so c dot methods dot count dot call call is to basically get a value the read functions not the write functions so i press this and i wait and the value is 22 great so the next thing that i need to do is i want to increment this value so i'm going to call methods dot increment dot send send because it's a write transaction it's going to change the state of the chain and in the send i need to uh, mention the from and i press enter with the await there and in a minute in a second actually <laughs> you'll see the pop-up has come on the rainbow wallet which is saying that there is a transaction that needs to go do you confirm it so i'm going to take the phone and press confirm yeah it takes my face id and it confirms it and it says all right done sent and i can just check here that it is sending i tried to send a similar transaction earlier before the, i started recording the video and that had went that had gone that had succeeded and this one also succeeded and because it succeeded i got a response over here great so this is how you use wallet connect it's no different except the fact that you basically need to create a provider in a different way for metamask the provider was window.ethereum for metamask the browser extension but if you're not using that and you want to provide a wallet connect this is how you do it this is how you create a provider there are a bunch of other ways to create the providers and you can figure that out uh, using documentation for wallet connect which is at docs.walletconnect.com slash quick start and in the quick start you'll have a bunch of ways for the dApps for the application that you're building to connect using wallet connect thank you so much for watching today's video if this was helpful please let me know uh, as always don't forget to like the video comment if you have any questions if you have any suggestions on the next video that i should put please let me know in the comments uh, come on hop on my discord chat with me i do gm i try to do gm every day uh, if you have any questions uh, the community is very helpful they try to answer if they can i also try to chime in every now and then make sure you subscribe to my channel it really makes me keeps me motivated to bring new videos all right thank you so much for watching today's video hopefully i'll see you tomorrow bye bye not tomorrow hopefully i'll see you next week bye bye